Rock Sonic Blue. When an object moves, it creates sound waves. But when an object moves beyond the speed of sound, all the sound waves get compressed into a cone-shaped sonic boom. And the angle between the object and the cone can be represented using alpha, which can be represented using this formula. Since this has a medium angle, it will travel at the medium supersonic speed. So that is why colored words stop flying. What? What are the ways to reduce sonic boom? First way to reduce it, developed by a famous agency, NASA. The quiet spike increases the length of the aircraft and it changes the initial booms into three smaller booms so less is heard on the ground. This is developed by Hypermash Aerospace. First step. The air particles in front of the leading edge is ionized. Then, it sticks to the metallic wing creating laminar airflow, which also provides an escape to the high pressure, reducing sonic booms. When a flying object meets these two requirements, the sonic boom will enter an area of warm air at 1524 meters. Then, the air slash shock wave will undergo total internal reflection and then will be reflected upwards with little sound heard in the ground. The sound wave that's heard is called Evisent waves, as you know results from total internal reflection. Think you know it all? No. This is a really wide area of science which will have a lot of further research. One of such is NASA's Sonic Bat program. It will fly over the east coast of US and measures the sonic boom in the air and the ground. All of these is to develop a plane called Quiet Supersonic Transportation that will greatly reduce the sonic boom. The features of this plane include conards, swept wings, engine above wings, and a long nose and fuselage to shape the boom to be weaker. It also has fins for subsonic stability. <laughs>